Welcome to the channel. Let's get right into it. Not going to waste any time. Got this shot with Alana. She's a world-class track athlete from UTSA here in San Antonio. Um, lovely shot. Uh, there's a couple things I want to get rid of this. You can see it pretty well right here, a tan line. When you zoom in, you don't see it as much, but there's a little tan line right across here and then right here. Um, in this area here, we want to remove this undergarment right there, just peeking out just a little bit. So just a little bit of cleanup. Um, other than that, pretty happy with the shot. So, I mean, I'll start off with, I have my background layer over here. I'm going to hit Control J. That's going to duplicate that background layer, layer. just make a copy of it, right? And I want to start off, I'm going to use, you know, there's a lot of ways to do this. Um, I used to use the spot healing tool, which is this one right here. Um, you can take that and set your hardness to about 100, not even about, set it to about 100%. And I said about again, set it to 100% and come over here and let's just kind of just go across there and see what it does. And it just, you know, it, when I set it to 100, it keeps the texture of the skin. It doesn't like blur it at all. Uh, whereas if you had it at 0%, you might get some, it would be obvious, right? You get a bunch of blur and softness there. So that almost got rid of it. And I'm using the left and right bracket keys, by the way, to resize my brush. So let's kind of come across here, do another one, maybe across here, do that one. And I mean, it's not perfect, but it works pretty well. Maybe I try another direction. I come over here. I'm just going to keep swiping until it gives me something that I like. So that's a little weird. It's picking up the highlight over here. And yeah, it's all right. So let me kind of zoom out again. I, I could see the tan lines a little bit um, before. So, I mean, that's one way to do it. And we got rid of that tan line. It's a little bit, you know, blotchy. So there's the before. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see that. So there's the before. And there's the after. So a little bit splotchy, you know. Um, we could keep going with it and see if we could smooth some of these little areas out. You know, just like that. But, you know, it's doing the job, right? So I'm going to turn that layer off. I'm going to make another copy of the background layer. Let's try a different way. Let's try the delete tool, which is this one here. It's right below the healing brush tool. If you don't, if you see the healing brush tool, go to the remove tool. And use that one I said delete tool it's the remove tool and it really acts more like a content aware generation brush you know what I mean a content a generative fill brush that's what I'm trying to say right hey if you guys get a chance give this video a like give it a comment while I'm going in here and I'm doing generative AI fill with a brush. It's really the remove tool, right? And I like this one better. It just, the, the generative fill, just coming in here using, that's what I, I use this for a lot, the delete, because it's not really deleting her, is it? It's, it's uh, articulating what it thinks should be in there um, as I use this brush, right? So let's zoom out on that one, right? And so there's the after, and there's a before so you can tell there's after before so we got rid of that line so I'm going to zoom in so you can see it there's before and there's after I like that one a little bit better than say let's look at the spot healing also worked a little bit more splotchy right the other thing that I wanted to do so click on the remove layer and go back and choose the remove tool and we can come in here just like this and remember I said it's like a generative AI fill brush. That's what I'm kind of using. I'm deleting this, but it's also filling in the area for me, which is pretty cool, right? Maybe I hit it again there, hit it again there. Let's kind of fix that area there. It just kind of knows what to do. There we go. So let's zoom out. And we fix that part as well. So pretty easy. What do you think? Is there a better way? To get rid of tan lines, let me know. Let me know if you have a better way to do that, what method you would use. Leave a comment. Um, give this a like if you liked it. And uh, give it a subscribe if you're so inclined. And you guys have a good one.